subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will implement data cleaning on our cardio data set. In our last class, we already discussed about cardio data set and we identified some of the data cleaning techniques that required for our data set. Now let's take a look at the data set and just refresh the data cleaning techniques which we discussed in our last class. This is our data set and these are the features that we had on in, our in our data set is coming to next one it, uh, it's gender. What, what data cleaning technique which we identified in our last class? One should be converted to women and two should be converted to men. That is what uh, we identified in our last class. Coming to height, uh, we have to delete the elements, delete the lines that consist of uh, less than 120 centimeters. Height is given in centimeters and we have to delete the data items that is less than 120 centimeters. Coming to weight, we have to delete the lines that consist of a uh, weight uh, value less than 50 and coming to AP high value we have to delete the elements that are above 240 and less than 60. Coming to AP underscore low we have to delete the elements that are less than 40 and above 180. Next features cholesterol we have to convert 1 to normal 2 to above normal 3 to high the same way glucose should be converted to 1 to normal 2 to above normal at the third value to high these are all the data cleaning techniques which we identified in our last class so please watch that video and come back here coming to coding part this is our coding part it's very very simple so these are all the functions which we use here uh, these are the packages we use in this class and coming to next block of code so this this line of code we already discussed in our last class so please follow us from the beginning why we use this function we use this function to take the data set uh, which is in dot csv and convert it into a data frame and place it in a variable called data so coming here data of cardio dot value underscore counts what is this data means our data set which is in data frame uh, data structure and uh, from this cardio means we are considering a column let's check the column what's that column is cardio means uh, uh, we are having two values 0 and 1 0 means uh, the the candidate uh, is not having a chance of getting a uh, cardio problems 1 means he is having a chance of getting a uh, cardio problems this is what our uh, uh, meaning is uh, we already discussed this in our previous class uh, so what's what value underscore counts do it will count the values of zero values and one value separately we displayed it here zero means 35,000 records are there one means 34,000 records are there and we displayed the shape of our data 70,000 data records are there in our data set how many columns are 13 columns are there why why we displayed this data shape because before cleaning the data we are having 70000 records this block of the code is cleaning the data we cleaned the data in this block of code after cleaning the data we displayed the shape again it's showing 67746 that means we deleted 25,000 uh, 2,500 uh, data values deleting 2,500 data values from 70,000 it's okay to delete if you delete 50,000 uh, 50,000 35,000 like that it's not okay so we have to see alternative methods for data cleaning we should not delete all the lines because eliminating half of the data values is not good practice okay so coming to our data cleaning techniques, uh, we have to delete the lines. We already discussed this in our last class, how to delete the lines from the data frame. We use the function called drop and in that uh, we have to delete the lines. We should not delete the columns. For lines, 
axis is equal to 0 for columns axis is equal to 1 means for column values axis is equal to 1 how we are deleting from the data we are taking the column name on that we are applying the condition see ap high less than 60 so delete those lines ap high greater than 240 delete those lines ap low greater than 180 ap low less than 40 so these are all the lines which we use to delete the, our conditions which we mentioned in our uh, data cleaning technique uh, and coming to weight uh, we have to delete weight less than 50 coming to height we have to delete lines that are less than 120 so this is how we delete the lines and coming to next one we have to change one to female in the gender place the function which we use here is a replace function so that it will uh, change convert one value to female whenever you have two value two in this uh, column which column what's the column name gender is a column from that uh, it will replace uh, 2 value 2 to male value 1 to female like that we have to convert cholesterol 1 to above average 2 to above average the third value to high this is how we converted c1 underscore average c2 underscore above average c3 underscore high this is how we converted you can use any names okay coming to glucose this this is also we are replacing 1 to g1 underscore average 2 to g2 underscore above average like that we converted so hope this is very very easy just we replace the values and we deleted the lines so this is what our data cleaning is so after that we displayed the shape shape is it's a 67746 what is this head means display the data items display data only top five lines that is what head means top five lines why we displayed only top five lines why don't we display all the 70,000 because it's very clumsy here we don't understand how our data looks like that's why we are displaying only the top five elements you can display top 10 you place it here 10 means top 10 elements will be displayed like that you can use the function called head okay after that we are converting our data into a dot csv file from next onwards data pre-processing will be started for, for that we will use this new data file which is already cleaned data file cardio cleaned dot csv so hope you understand the concept if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below from next class onwards we will start our data pre-processing after completion of the data pre-processing we will start our first machine learning model and we will implement that model okay thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you